Well, I think we're gonna just have to leave it as it is. Gotta have feedback. Let's go. Française, Français. Dear French citizens, voilà ensemble, we are here today, together, in discussing the future of our country. The events of the last week in the Hexagon in France have troubled the nation. There was legitimate re claims. Inadmissible. However, there was a chain of inadmissible violence. And I would like to talk about that. This violence will not benefit anyone. We have seen everything, opportunists playing games to take advantage of the demonstrations. And we saw everything. We saw the irresponsible action of some politicians to look for disorder. No anger justifies that we attack a police officer, burning buildings, burning properties. Freedom is understandable. Everyone is able to express his or her opinion. However, we need to share our opinions in a responsible way. However, when there is violence, freedom stops. The calm and Republican orders is what needs to be restored. We will do everything to restore it. We will not achieve anything unless and, and until we have order. We, I have given to the government the most rigorous instructions. In the beginning of all this, I won't forget that there is anger. There is worry. There is in indignation. All of us, or most of us, in France feel it. However, I cannot accept the inacceptable behavior that took place. The anger was about the gas tax, and the Prime Minister responded to that by cancelling the gas tax. However, I feel the anger. Give us another chance. Give a chance to the couple that needs to wake up in the morning and travel for a couple of hours to work far away from their home. Give the single woman, the single mother, the chance to make ends meet. We have to take this into account. We have to take into account the retired who have built their lives and worked all their lives and cannot make ends meet. This fragile situation puts us in a handicapped situation. These people have been suffering, and not since yesterday, since a long time ago. We have seen this. And this is happening right now as if we were forgetting about all these people. 40 people, 40 years of anger, 40 pe uh, years of worry is what is taking place, is what is happening right now. A democratic worry, a democratic state of mind that is, that is really being destroyed and barricades have been built to face and to demolish our democracy. We didn't know maybe about a year and a half how to answer to this crisis. And I'm taking the, my part of the responsibility. Maybe in the beginning I gave you the impression that I didn't care. But that's not true. Maybe I've hurt some of you. That was not my intention. I want to be clear tonight. If I have fought in order to shake the political system in place, it is precisely because I believe in this country that I love and my legitimacy. I don't take it out of any title or any party. I get my legitimacy legitimacy and my right from you 
I want to find a way to get out of this together. I want this for France because this is our path through history. We have always opened unexplored ways and unexplored methods and paths. I don't want to be divided. I don't want the French people to be divided. This is a country of law. Friendship is what must unite this country. I want this because it is precisely because of this that I ran for office in order to reconcile all the French people. It is, first of all, the, I'm going to decree today the economic and social state of emergency. We have to work together and we have to reinvent and restore the educational system in order for the people to be able to find work after they graduate. This educational reform is important. We want a France where we can live with dignity from one's work. We, you have waited for too long. This is taking too long and I'm going to act very fast in order to resolve this problem. I'm going to ask the government to follow up to make sure that all the students, when they graduate, they are able to find work. The salaries must be equivalent, must be dignified. I want to fix all the injustice that is taking place. Over time, must be paid without any additional taxes. And I want to see an immediate and real improvement in the salaries. And this is why I'm ordering an end-of-year bonus for all employees without any tax. How we treat you is a very important part of our nation. In 2019, you're going to see this. You have been asked to do too much and this was not fair. Tomorrow, the Prime Minister will present all of these decisions in front of the parliament. However, I'm also asking our big companies to consider the citizens in their bylaws, in their operations. Some of you want me to come back and revisit the tax on fortune, the fortune tax. However, this has caused the richer country, uh, the richer companies to depart or to leave our countries, our country, and uh, we have suffered from this measure tremendously. Going backward will make us weak and weaker, and we'll, we will lose jobs everywhere in every sector. The government and the parliament will go farther to end the illegitimate advantages for some people in terms of tax. The companies that are making the most profit must pay their taxes. So we're going to go back to the economic and social emergency with strong measures. And it is my intention for the government to follow up on the ambition of the transformation of our country. We have approved a great reform. These reforms are indispensable, are necessary, so that we can live in a country that is more fair, more simple, clearer, Today, it is with our collective project that we must work for France and for us as a nation. Our national debate must be more expansive and larger. We have to assume altogether our responsibilities, our responsibility to produce and also to distribute, to learn and to be a free citizen, to change and take into account the 
changes in our country and our nous devons nous rassembler pour change toutes les questions essentielles à la nation. Situation. We have to work together to answer to all the, uh, to respond to all the situations, all the social and economic crises in our country, so that we can live in a country that is fair. And we have to. Je veux que soit posée la question de l'équilibre. Ask this question about the balance of the fiscality of taxes of the financial balance between the poor and the rich. We have to ask questions about our daily living. How do we live? How do we work? And how do we live? How do we pay our rent? How do we pay our mortgage? How do we pay our heat? And we have to ask questions about the government, how it is governed. Maybe the government has been centralized for a long time, for decades now. The public service all over our territory we have to ask questions about it. We have to ask also about the profound identity of our country. We talked about immigration. We have to find solutions. These fundamental changes require a deep reflection and require an unprecedented debate at the national level and in all institutions of the government, in the parliament, in the General Assembly, with the social partners, with you, with the citizens of France. I want to make sure that we have coordination between all of these entities. This debate is not among the institutional representatives as well. It has, be, it has to be a debate in which everybody is included. The mayors must be part of this debate. The, mayor, the mayors of the cities of France have the responsibility of the Republic on their shoulder. This is why I'm meeting with the mayors of France from one region to another, from all regions, in order to put an end to this catastrophe. Very often in the past, we just went back to our daily business without fixing anything. This is not going to happen now. We are going, we are, we are going through a very historic moment. And we need to resolve it through dialogue, respect, and commitment. We will succeed. I will come back to explain this and to give you my account and to answer to you about this. Our only battle is for France. For Vive you. La République. Vive la France. Long live the Republic. Long live France.